explain it. So now we want to discuss about the offshoot working of offshoot polarimeter. S is a source of monochromatic light which allows the uh, convex lens and convert the parallel beam of light that passes through a um, polarizer which produces the plain polarized light. Plain polarized light passes through offset device. So offset device consists of uh, two semicircular uh, plates. One is uh, half semicircular part is glass and other half semicircular part is quartz. The light, uh, plain polarized light uh, allows the offset device so in which uh, some part light is passes through glass plate and other part passes through the quartz plate if the plane polarized light uh, along pq direction so this is discussed in the in this suppose light passes through quartz plate in po direction which splits into two components that is ordinary component moving in the direction extraordinary component moving in this direction so due to phase difference is reversed then extraordinary ray come back along this direction along this direction and ordinary component also come back in this direction these two components combine and moving in this part that is the OQ part so the light is moving in this direction so this part is parallel to the uh, principal section of analyzer or ad analyzer then you will get the then you will get the uh, half glass part is bright and uh, half quartz part is dark so in this in, in in this region the light is equally distributed that's why this part is bright so the light uh, enters into quartz plate to glass plate so the light is uh, equally distributed so that's why this part is bright this part is dark so this is the uh, this image which can be seen through telescope okay so this image you will get uh, adjusting the nickel prism and okay, that is uh, the principal section which is parallel to the the path of light uh, the path of polarized light then you will get this image which can be seen through that if light passes through glass plate into quartz plate along rs direction so that is uh, explanation here the polarized light uh, moving RO direction in glass part in glass part RO direction which makes an angle theta with the cement part that is the cement part cement part so which is also gets two components one is the ordinary component moving in the direction and extraordinary component moving in the direction so due to phase difference is reversal the ordinary component moving come back in this direction the external ray also come back in this direction these two components combine and moving OS direction so that is the uh, the complete path of uh, polarized light that is RS which is parallel to the uh, principal section of analyzer by adjusting it so then you will get the uh, quartz part is bright and the glass part is dark half semicircular quartz part is bright so here the light is completely distributed in here so that's why this part is bright which can be seen through telescope suppose the light is moving along a b direction that is a cement direction that is a cement direction the cement here cement is a transparent material that is a transparent material so the light is moving in this direction the light uh, does not get suffer uh, uh, two components so that's why the light is equally distributed uh, uh, through glass part and quartz part so you will get the uh, full bright image so in this situation this part is uh, uh, parallel to the principal section of uh, analyzer 
you are adjusting it so then you will get the full bright image which can be seen through telescope so so this is the working of uh, offshade uh, polarimeter so thank you